Hey everyone, Nomad Master here. Next on the list at number 20 is Bunker Hill. Bunker Hill has a height limit of 4 floors and an area rank of 36. That makes Bunker Hill and Country Crossing about the same size. There are spoilers in this video, so if you have not completed the main storyline for Fallout 4, this is your final warning. With that said, Bunker Hill is also the home to all four caravan merchants. Now keep in mind guys, most people unlock Bunker Hill last because it requires you to complete the Battle of Bunker Hill in order to gain access to it. The other way to unlock this settlement is simply getting banished from the Institute or refusing to join them. However, this method requires you to complete Kessler's Prep School quest, which also unlocks the Caravan Trading Post. Using the workshop, you can build caravan trading posts in other settlements. This basically makes all four caravan traders stop at that settlement. Hey there. In addition to the prep school quest, you can also complete Deb's traffic jam quest. This increases the caps that all four caravan merchants have on them, including Deb and Kay, but it does not include Joe or Tony. So once you've completed one of those two methods, simply walk up to Kessler and she will let you know that you have powerful friends and she will give you access to Bunker Hill. So now that we've unlocked the workbench, simply walk up to it and open it to gain access to the settlement. It's located behind Kay in her medical clinic. So one of the first things you guys might notice about Bunker Hill is that it has no workstations, which is very surprising considering Bunker Hill is already an established settlement. The plus about Bunker Hill is how many caps you'll get from it. So because Bunker Hill is home to so many merchants, including the four traveling merchants, Bunker Hill will generate a lot of caps. And upon gaining access to the workbench, you'll notice right away that there's quite a few caps already in there. So don't forget about those when you gain access to the settlement. This is the market area. Uh, note that whenever the traders are here, they won't leave again until you leave the settlement. So if all four traders are here, they're not going anywhere until you go. Over here is where you can rent beds. This is the only area in the settlement where you can sleep because all the other beds are assigned. It's also the only settlement in the game that allows you to gain control over an area that rents beds. Another thing to note is that Bunker Hill does have some objects in the settlement that you can scrap. So like this car and a few more things that are laying around like cinder blocks and metal cans and whatnot. Um, nothing too major though. And there's quite a few uh, little houses in the settlement. They're pretty small and they don't really serve any major purpose except for allowing the settlers to sleep. Uh, so you can do whatever you want with those or build additional homes. Uh, there is a four story height limit so it can be quite challenging to try to build Bunker Hill up and make it bigger than it already is. But I've seen some people come up with some really cool stuff. One other thing to note about Bunker Hill is the areas on the outside of the wall. A lot of people may not realize that there's quite a bit of space out here and you can put turrets and in some areas you can even try to attempt to put maybe even a shop. But for the most part, it's much safer inside of Bunker Hill unless you build up those outer walls with additional turrets. One other area in the settlement that can be quite frustrating is the obelisk itself. So because of the four story height limit, you only get half of the obelisk when it comes to building things in the workshop. But before we go up there, let's take a look at the roof. So before you can access the bunker hill, you can actually jump up onto this blue railing here and jump up onto the roof. This is handy if you decided to become hostile towards a certain faction during the Battle of Bunker Hill. You can jump up here and kind of stay away from a lot of the action. So this is something that's kind of good to know. Obviously, once you gain access to the settlement, you can just build stairs up there. But this is the inside of the obelisk. Let's go up and you guys can see where it turns off so eventually we're going to exit the workshop here and it'll just turn off so right around here it turns off and i think the halfway point is pretty much right before this big hole here that overlooks boston so if i attempt to enter the workshop from here it won't let me so i think it's right before this point now before i go i'm going to take you guys down to the basement and show you what's going on down there so here's Bunker Hill's basement. It seems kind of small at first until you realize that there's a hole in the corner going over to another area. It doesn't seem like that was originally part of the basement. Now keep in mind guys, you can only gain access to the basement if you complete the Battle of Bunker Hill. If you unlock the settlement by betraying the Institute or refusing to join them, you will not gain access to the basement. So during the Battle of Bunker Hill, part of the battle happens down here in this big open room. 
Down here to the right is the access point where it leads you to the synths that are hiding down here. So it goes down that long hallway there and then back into the room where they have beds. That's pretty much the only thing down here is unassigned beds. But it's really not worth it to run all the way through the basement to get to those beds. I would just pay 10 caps and rent one upstairs. So this area unfortunately doesn't really have a lot of use. You can't access the workbench down there either, which is unfortunate. So just like Krupp Manor, the basement is not part of the build area. Overall though, Bunker Hill is an amazing settlement. It's one of my favorites in the game, and it's definitely worth it to gain access to it. That pretty much concludes my video for today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.